on I'm back and you can see Dottie's here too and we are here today with our July Birch Box and this month Birch Box collaborated with designer Cynthia Rowley and you can see normally the Birch Box does not come with this sleeve and I'm not normally a pack rat but this is really pretty and it's not like a chintzy little piece of paper either this is like a heavy duty nice nice sleeve I'm going to find something. I thought it would be cute. Something to do with this. I thought it would be cute to just cut it out. Like here and here. Put it in a little picture frame and put it on my vanity. It's really cute. Uh, other than that, I don't know what you'd do with it. Um, yeah, again, so this typically does not come on the birch box. This is your standard birch box. Looks normal. So I'm super excited. This one came a little later this time than it normally does, but that's alright. And I have been through this. I have tried some of this, which I think is kind of good because I can kind of give you a sort of a review on some of it. And you'll notice that this month it's got um, like a teal, aquamarine-ish color instead of the almost purpley pink that they normally have. And then you have your birch box card. And this side, they just kind of explain to you what they did with this month's box with Cynthia Rowley, and it's kind of her favorite things. And then on the other side, it lists the um, items in the box, a description, the full size amount, and the cost of the full size. So let's get started. Now, I've watched a ton of these videos already, and yes, I did restrain myself, and I did not watch any videos to spoil it for myself of anyone else's July Birch box before mine came, so I did wait which <laughs> that was not easy but anyways the first I've noticed okay so after I got my birch box I washed everyone else's everyone goes for this first which is kind of funny because we're like what the heck and this is an almond and apricot kind fruit and nut bar as your little monthly treat it doesn't say how much they cost it doesn't say a full size like a whole box or any of that but just a snack right with this wholesome bar, no preservatives or hard to pronounce ingredients. And she has one in her bag just in case. I wanted to try it, but I didn't want to spoil it and not show you guys in case anyone's not seen it. I'm sure you have, but who cares? Um, I'll try it. I'm down to try anything once. I don't like it, I don't like it, but it doesn't look bad. I'll give it a try. Then, um, two of the things that I have tried I was super excited about. This one is the Redken 5th Avenue, Nor New York City, Shine Brilliance, 02 Shine Flash. It's a glistening mist. And this sample size is 2.1 ounces, which is 60 grams. It comes with a little aerosol spray thing here. But it does do a light mist. And I don't know. I don't like the smell. It's like, I mean, I know I just sprayed it in my face and all that, but... <sighs> Yeah, bad idea. It stinks. I don't know what the smell is, but I don't... Granted, I've teased my hair this morning, so if it looks a little crazy, that's why. I'm sorry. But, um... I've tried it, I want to say, three or four times. I might not be putting enough on. But it looks the same to me after I do it. I don't know. But I'm going to use the whole thing, because that's just how I am, and I could be wrong. I read the directions. I don't think it's that difficult to operate. But right now, I'm not loving it. I wouldn't purchase it again. I like it enough to use. But, yeah. But it's a nice sample size. It's a, a That's the first hair care product that I've gotten from Birchbox, so I'm happy. And I'm happy about this because I just ran out of a facial, my facial cleanser, and I wanted to try something different. And so here it is. This is the Purity by Philosophy, which is a natural face wash. And it wash, ugh, face wash. Yeah, okay face wash and it's a one step facial cleanser and I want to smell this I don't think it has a smell I can't recall if they said it did or not oh I guess it wouldn't have a smell yet would it because there's a lid on it so let me pull it up it's like a to me it's like a just a clean almost vanilla like smell so it doesn't stink um yeah I'm pretty excited because this stuff is pretty pricey. It's 30 milliliters or one full ounce. The full size of that is 16 ounces for $32 or 8 ounces for 20 which really isn't that bad because I was paying 40 40 for a toner and a um, face wash. And the face wash was like this tall. Yeah, I know it wasn't very big, but it worked. 
So hopefully this works just as well. I've heard lots of great stuff about philosophy, and I'm going to give that a try. Um, <clears throat> I have used the crap out of this every day since I got it. Sorry about that noise. That's the dog scratching on the floor. And I want to show you. You know, we've been working more on training our dogs because if you have great names, they can be big love bugs or they can be big pains in your butt. Because they're so big, they think they run everything. And this guy right here, my baby boy, hi Dozer, hi sweetheart, can you say hi, is a naughty boy. And he tries to run everyone. He thinks he's the boss. And we've been working with him. He, As you can see, he's laying there behaving. Well, now he's not. Here he comes. But that's rare. Apparently he likes to be on YouTube. Do you like to be on YouTube? Yeah? Oh, what a pretty boy. Anyway, sorry, that's not about Birchbox, but actually he likes the Birchbox because he can smell the granola bar, which is fine. So yeah, we've been working on training him, so hopefully he won't just like randomly come up when I'm making a video, snatch a brush, and leave. That's my goal. But we can't get him to leave the ice maker away, so he won't leave that alone. Maybe we'll let him, let him slide with that. Then you have your cute little birch box card that says, We have more love to give. Make sure you rate their products. Even if you don't like it. I did not like the Coors. I'm sorry, not Coors. Kiehl's. Uh, Oil-free face lotion or something like that. My face was just as oily after I used it. And then, I mean, it didn't do anything. And so I rated it. It was a poor rating because I didn't like it. I wouldn't buy it again. But you still get 10 birch box points. And that's still, I mean, money towards your... Um, full size purchase so rate them, rate them, rate them, rate them I've never heard of this company but this is the product I told you I've used like crazy it's called YBF, Your Best Friend and this is a full size this is my third birch box, my third cosmetic item that was full size so I'm freaking excited this is 0 0.005, yep that's what it says ounces for $12 this is 0 0.005 12 ounces, full size one end comes with a spoolie. Ta -da, nothing special. The other end is, oh my god, actually has like little eyebrow hair stuck to it. That's gross, sorry. An eyebrow pencil. And I'm not going to roll the whole thing out and show you, but there's quite a bit of product. And what I like about it is it's not overly creamy because for an eyebrow pencil, that's kind of not a good thing. Because it will clump in your eyebrows and all that. I feel like with an eyebrow pencil, you want it to be a little harder so you can work it into your brows and brush it in. And there's a swatch. It's called Universal Taupe. I think that's the color, the only color they sent out. And you can see that works for me. So I'm excited. My last item I'm excited about, but I'll be honest, I don't love the smell and I'm hoping it grows on me. But it is a natural product by Coors, K O R R E S. And it's a fig little shower gel. I promise you it says. Can you read that? Little shower gel. Oh, there's my fingernails, by the way. Ta da! That's that Revlon um, scented nail polish. I know I, I had to have it because I felt like a five again. And then I just put some black crackle on there. Ta-da. But anyway, yeah, this is a really nice size. My concern is the packaging is really hard. It's not glass, but it may as well be. However, I don't know. I mean, I don't know the consistency of this. But when I get down here, how am I going to get this out? I can't squeeze it out. I suppose I could put some hot water in and use it, but it's going to be all watery. But whatever. I mean, I heard other people got guava, and I think I would prefer that. I've never smelled a fig before, but this, I guess, I mean, it smells herbally. I wouldn't have chosen it if they lined them up in for me in a store, but it's not bad. I like it. I'll take it. Um, I'll let you know. But that's the empty birch box. So now I think we all open ours, play with our stuff for a few days, and then we're like, okay, how many more days till next birch box? So if that's you, please comment below, because my boyfriend thinks I'm psycho, and I think the mailman might think so, too. So, um, yeah, I have tons more because it's summer, and you know I love to shop, and you know I threw a lot of my old makeup away so that I could start over, because you know that stuff expires, and girl, don't put that on your face. First box. So I'm building up my collection again, and I've just gone crazy. And Elf had their big sale. So if you see me in the same outfit, I'm sorry, but I have lots to do today. So I hope you'll tune in, and thanks. Bye.